Temperatures have dropped and you may be tempted to break out your space heater. Yeah, TV6's Joshua Blount spoke to a local fire department about what you can do to use your space heater safely. They also have overheat protection, you know, where, where um, if the casing becomes too hot, they're supposed to shut themselves down. According to the National Fire Protection Association, fire departments respond to more than 44,000 home heating fires each year. In the city of Rock Island alone, um, we probably average at least a half a dozen space heater fires every winter. Um, nationwide, it's thousands. It's thousands and thousands of fires from space heaters, um, and also, unfortunately, typically hundreds of fire deaths related to space heaters. That's Rock Island Fire Department Fire Marshal Greg Marty. He tells me for the safest experience, there are certain features to look for when buying a space heater. The safest space heaters um, have no exposed elements. so. You know, there are still types of space heaters that are sold that you can look and, and, and you can see a, blight, a bright glowing filament within the space heater. Those are the least safe. So space heaters where the heating element is completely contained, um, space heaters that have tip over protection where if they fall or get knocked over, they automatically shut off. Um, and then, you know, space heaters that are designed to be just strictly small and residential in use if you're going to have it in your home. Marty says you can use space heaters safely by following some rules. Make sure your space heater is plugged directly into a wall outlet. Never leave it on while unattended or when you are sleeping. And keep anything that can potentially catch fire at least three feet away. Whether that's um, blankets, uh, clothing, uh, papers, um, you know, toys, anything of that nature that may be at the ground level. When those are too close for too long, the space heaters can actually raise those combustibles to their ignition temperature and they can cause a fire. That's why it's so important to keep that three foot space so that those heating elements from the space heater cannot put enough heat on those items for a long enough period of time to bring them to ignition. Officials with the Rock Island Fire Department tell me the safest way you can heat your home is with a central heating system. But despite the heating method you use to best fit your situation, Marty says to always be prepared in case a fire does happen. Make sure you have working smoke alarms in every sleeping area of your home, on the outside of every sleeping area of your home, and one on every floor of your home. Having working, uh, properly positioned smoke alarms is your family's best defense to survive an unwanted home fire. In Rock Island, Joshua Blount, TV6 News.